Hey, this is JC and welcome to Small Brick City. In this video, we'll be exploring my modifications to the LEGO Palace Cinema set 10232. This is a modular building and incidentally, this is the very first modular building that I bought for my LEGO City. And there's a reason why it took me this long to show off these modifications. And the reason is because this is where I work in my LEGO City. I never reviewed what I did professionally until my last video in a 2000 subscriber special video. Believe it or not, my job in my LEGO City, Small Brick City, is the same as what I do in real life. And that is as a performing illusionist in a theatre or showroom. So in my LEGO City, the Palace Cinema has been transformed into the Palace Theatre and the second floor where the original cinema is has been transformed into a theatre for my show. My LEGO City is a tourist beach town, so it's a perfect attraction for tourists visiting the town. The owner of the theatre is very smart and he built his theatre at the corner of a very popular tourist attraction in Small Brick City and that is Brick Point. It is at the end of the main street that overlooks the tourist beach. My Sigvig has been performing here for over a year and I still have one more year left in my contract. Let's have a look at the different modifications I did to the set. Since this is an entertainment theatre in a tourist town, a souvenir stall replaced my original popcorn cart. I shared the details of this build in a tutorial previously and you can check the cart on the top right of your screen. On the other side of the sidewalk, I have a balloon cart. This is a cart that I replicated from a LEGO polybag set and I used the LEGO Batman Joker Escape for the main parts of this build. I do intend to build a better balloon cart in future. Nothing else has changed except the inclusion of minifigs. Let's have a look at the roof of the Palace Theatre. Since the second floor for this building has been transformed into my theatre, the cinema has been moved to the top floor as an outdoor cinema. I moved the seats to the top and built a support structure for the screen so that it can stand independently on the roof. I moved the two searchlights to the top of the roof and attached them to the roof with round studs. Too bad I don't have a Batman sign that I can use with the lights. The cinema projector is on a platform behind the audience and there's a projectionist hard at work. Everything remains the same including this excess skylight doorway to the second floor. As this is a modular building, we can lift off the roof to access the second floor. The second floor is my theatre, it's been completely renovated and you can see a stage at one end. And that's me currently in rehearsals with one of my illusions. The stage was modified from the LEGO Friends set Pop Star Show stage set 41105. It includes a backdrop, lights, speakers, and code pyrotechnic showers. The illusion that I'm rehearsing is something I call the impossible cut, and it's an actual illusion that I perform in my show. Just in case you don't believe me, Here's a clip of me performing the illusion. Check this out.
Now back to the Lego world. As I'm currently in rehearsals, there's no one in the theater, that's why the seats are empty. I built theater benches for this small space, and it can fit more than a dozen minifigs. At the back of the theater, behind the center row of benches, I added a railing so that no minifigs will fall down the stairwell. You can also see lighting on trusses on either corner of the theater. That's very typical of a real theater setup. That minifig you see on the left is the theater technician. Since this is a small theater, there's only one guy running the lights, sound, and special effects for the entire show. He's working off a laptop that is connected to a lighting board and other equipment. The minifig itself is pretty representative of a casual theater tech. Let's move on to the ground floor. You'll notice that unlike a lot of my modifications and mocks, the floors aren't tiled. And that's because the owner of the theater spent all his money booking my show and didn't have enough left to tile the floors. I did change up the ground floor a bit. The stairs to the ground floor remain, but I expanded the concession stand so that it's got a popcorn machine, soda fountain, counter, and just a more impressive setup you expect to see in a theater. There's a couch in the lobby or waiting area. And you can see, all the minifigs are waiting for my rehearsal to be over so that we can start the show. Everything remains the same as the original, including the ticket counter. I hope you enjoyed my modifications of the Palace Cinema to turn it into the Palace Theatre. I also hope you enjoyed that glimpse into my show. If you have a LEGO city and you can inject yourself, your friends or family into the city, it does make your city much more unique and interesting. It can also be more relatable when you show your friends and family the city and they see their LEGO sick fix or counterparts in your city as well. In a future video, we will have a closer look at my sick fig and I'll also discuss how to create your own sick fig. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. There are many more new and exciting things happening with this channel and you do want to stick around and be notified when new videos are released. Before you go, check out these two videos that you might have missed. Talk to you soon!